Hey guys, it's Erin here at Readwise. Wanted to introduce you to our new Obsidian integration, walk you through how to get set up, and then talk to you about a couple of the power features that we are really excited to be introducing to this community. All right, so to get started, I'm going to navigate to Settings, Community Plugins, and we're going to hit Browse and search for Readwise Official. There we have it, Readwise Official by Readwise. You can click on that and then go ahead and click on install. And then once this says successfully installed, go ahead and click on enable. Then we can exit out of the community plugins window. And then to the left sidebar, you scroll down underneath plugin options, you'll now see Readwise Official showing up in your Obsidian account. All right, so I'm gonna open up this. This is our lovely settings page. And then you'll be prompted to connect in which case you will log into your Readwise account and you'll be taken to our Obsidian Exports page. So there's a couple features that make the Readwise Obsidian integration more powerful than what you're going to find with another open source plugin or software uh, that might currently be available through the community plugins library. For starters, one of those power features is automatic and continuous syncing of all of your highlights. One of the reasons this is really nice is, as you might remember before, a lot of Obsidian users were having to manually export their highlights to Markdown and then import them to Obsidian. With this new integration, we're really trying to remove some of that meta work and that friction, make it super simple for you to get everything you're reading right into Obsidian without any extra or unneeded steps. With that said, we know that some people don't always want all of their highlights translated into Obsidian. They may only want a couple select articles or a couple books. If that's the case, you can toggle on this button. And then you can see line by line all the highlights that you've pulled into Readwise. And you can actually check or uncheck the specific sources that you want to pull in. In this case, I want all of my stuff, so I'm just going to go ahead and check off this box right next to title. Next up, you can customize exactly how your highlights are formatted and then exported to Obsidian utilizing our flexible templating options. So if you toggle this on, you'll see that we have support for both Jinja 2 as well as YAML Front Matter. If you're brand new to either of these templating languages, you can just follow these documentation links right there and you'll get a little bit more in-depth support as you get started. Thanks to these templates, you'll also be able to import enriched metadata. So not only do we include the author and the title of whatever source the highlight is pulled from, we're also going to be including the original URL, any kind of book cover or images that you highlighted, along with any tags that you may have been adding as you're reading or doing your daily reviews within Readwise. So we know for a lot of people, this really helps them save time in their writing workflows, being able to go back to the original highlight source or even highlight highlight location and have all of that uh, supported right within Obsidian. So we're hoping it saves you some time too. In addition to being able to fine tune the formatting of your highlights, this new integration is also going to allow you to designate exactly where they show up in Obsidian. So if I scroll up here, if I leave this first line item toggled on, group files and category folders, this means that if I have highlights from books, they're going to show up in a subfolder titled books. If I have highlights that are tweets, they're going to show up in subfolder titled tweets. If you're the kind of person who prefers a flatter file structure, you can toggle this off and you're going to find all of your highlights under one simple folder just titled Readwise Highlights. All right, so once I've gone ahead and customized all my settings here, I'm going to navigate back to Obsidian and go ahead and click on Initiate Sync. Just as another reminder, you have the option to run the sync manually you would just do that by clicking on Initiate Sync whenever you feel like you want those highlights pulled over. Alternatively, you can set this to run every one hour, every 12 hours, or once a day. I'm going to set this for manual for now. I'm going to title my folder Readwise Highlights. And then when I'm ready, I'll go ahead and click on Initiate Sync. You can see we have these little alerts on the side that show you when everything is imported over. All right, 
So once that sync is complete, we can head over and you will see all of your highlights in this Readwise Highlights folder. Remember, I opted for the flatter file structure, meaning all of my highlights are just going to live in this individual folder instead of being sorted into subfolders based on uh, source such as tweets, articles, or books. So here's what one of those highlights looks like. If we switch over to preview mode, you can see we've got all of this enriched metadata going on, things like highlight location. So I can click through. If this was a Kindle highlight, it would take me back to that exact location in my Kindle. If I click through on an e-reader, it's going to take me back to that location in this article in Instapaper or whatever tool you're using. One of the coolest things that's really handy for my personal workflow, and maybe it will be for yours too, is that we can actually import highlighted images. So again, another feature that is really, really helpful in saving me time, allows me to do all of my best work right here within Obsidian. Another great thing about this enriched metadata is that we're actually importing in your tags. So if you are a big fan of tagging as you read or tagging within your Readwise daily review, um, we're actually going to be pulling that into your Obsidian account as well. And you'll find that in the document tag section. Um, you'll also find them underneath individual tags if you happen to have them. Here's a good example in my case. Again, another great article from Paul Graham on doing things that don't scale. I tagged it as growth. If you've been tagging in Readwise for a while or on your Kindle as you read, when we import your highlights into Obsidian, you're actually likely to be welcomed by an epic knowledge graph, kind of similar to what our co-founder Dan had when he first imported his highlights into Obsidian and found that all these years and years of tags had coagulated into this super cool knowledge graph that really showcased how all of his uh, different highlights were interconnected. So that's a high-level overview of the new Readwise Obsidian integration. I'm super excited to hear what you guys think. And as always, if you have any feedback for us, please, please, please feel free to reach out and let us know. The best way to reach us these days is by emailing hello at readwise.io. While we love to catch your shout outs on Twitter, our DMs can get a little crazy, so we're sorry if we're not super responsive on there, but if you have any actual feedback or troubleshooting that you need on this specific plugin, email is definitely the best way to reach us these days. All right, can't wait to hear what you guys think.